Hi everybody, it's Dave Aquino with Basecamp Trading and this is the free video for Wednesday, uh, August 7th, 2019. So we're watching Disney on the daily. It reported earnings and it disappointed and uh, we're over down over four, five and a half percent as of right now, a little bit after one o'clock. Uh, but we did manage to bounce a little bit. We were down closer to six and a half points, uh, six and a half percent earlier in the day. Uh, the low of the day being uh, roughly uh, 132 and a quarter. Now you can see the 50% retracement if we measure um, the, 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 including this gap, the close uh, from April 11th all the way to the most recent high on July 29th, we're very close to that 50% retracement at 131.88. Now I will also give you that there is some general support based on the pivot low from the 13th, which is 130 and a half here on the 31st, which is 130.78. So you can see $130 and, and a half is roughly a support level 130. You can round it down uh, if we continue to push lower uh, over the next couple of days. I actually think that uh, Disney is um, uh, probably uh, it was a little extended after that jump up after the announcement uh, of the uh, new Disney Plus uh, streaming service. The details of the service came out. Um, it looks pretty good. And uh, a lot of the disappointment was because of a shortfall in one movie, but and um, uh, a little bit of a uh, expectation of a slowdown in the parks. Uh, the general expense of the new Star Wars lands in both parks. But I think those could potentially be long-term drivers and attractions that would actually boost the numbers for the park. So as usually, I think a lot of this shortfall is very short-sighted. And I think the market will quickly rebound from here, uh, just as long as uh, we're talking about a bullish environment. So um, if we can per, uh, continue to be weak, we may fall back a little bit. Again, 130 is the next support level. Below that's 128 and a quarter. Um, and then the next support is the low from the gap up day. Um, and that would be 126.36. But I think in this general area, there's a lot of buying opportunity. And I think a lot of people will recognize that and try to accumulate Disney. The only thing that may continue to hold it down is a potentially weaker market. So keep that in mind. I think Disney, uh, you can start accumulating it um, because I think this correction was good for it and it gives a lot of people a good chance to, to purchase it. Okay, thanks a lot. If you like what you hear in this video, please go ahead and subscribe in the lower corner and uh, you'll be treated to these daily videos on a regular basis. Thank you very much. So go ahead and click subscribe below.